welcome back to my channel welcome to rickmas day i don't even know to be honest with you like hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i have another exciting video for you guys welcome to rickmas day eight wow i cannot believe i'm still keeping up with this you guys are not gonna believe how much work this is behind the scenes but i really love putting out content for you guys so so we gonna keep doing it <laughs> so today i'm gonna be doing a quick video i'm just gonna show you guys my foundation routine my everyday full face and when i say everyday i don't mean every day literally because if you follow me on social media which you should by the way shameless plug follow me on social media so you can keep up with me but yeah if you follow me on social media you would know that i rarely wear makeup unless i'm recording when i record this is what the beat normally looks like i don't go too crazy but i do like to wear a nice solid base like this is a really quick and easy makeup tutorial so i'm just going to show you guys everything i use and let's just get right into it i think that's all i have to say right let's go okay so first things first i clip up my hair then i'm going to go ahead and apply my fenty beauty primer all over my face i love this stuff it just like seals everything in and it just smooths my skin out to be a really good base for my foundation. Foundation I've been loving lately is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation collab with Alyssa Ashley. I love this foundation. I rant and rave about this foundation all the time. It's the only one I wear and I'm blending it in with a round kabuki brush that I got off of Amazon. I'll have the set listed down below. It's super affordable. I swear by the LA Girl Pro Concealers. These are the only concealers I use really. I don't really buy any high-end concealer. This does the job for me. You just put a nice coating on. I put it under my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm gonna go in with a lighter color just to brighten up my under eye area. And now I'm going to spray my Real Techniques Body Blender. This is the big sponge. And I'm going to blend out my forehead and my nose concealer and go ahead and let my under eye concealer get a little bit drier and then blend it out with another sponge like you can see I'm doing here. I prefer to blend out my concealer with a sponge first and then go in with the kabuki brush just to blend it into my foundation. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I find that I get more coverage when I do it this way. Now I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I swear by this stuff, it's super affordable. Like, at pretty much everything I'm using in this video is super affordable. I will have everything listed down below. But yeah, I kind of go ham with the powder. I didn't mean to put that much. <laughs> I have an eyebrow tutorial up on my channel already, but I'm just using my ABH Dip Brow that I always use. I'm not going to go too into detail on this because I already have a video out on this so go check that out if you want to know how I do my brows. I recently got them waxed and with this hair color I didn't want to go too dark so I'm not going too crazy on the brows. This is my Morphe Holiday Collection brush set. There's like five brushes that come in here. I'll have this set linked down below. I'm just going to apply my bronzer from Sephora with this angled blush brush on my temples, on my cheekbones, just gonna bronze up the skin and put some color back into my face. Then taking my MAC Studio Fix Foundation Powder, I'm just gonna apply this on all the areas that I didn't apply any powder to yet and go in with my Sephora blush. I love this corally orange kind of shade. It just looks really good with my skin. Then I'm taking my MAC highlighter in O oh Darling on my nose, down the bridge of my nose, on the cheekbones by my eyebrow you know everywhere where I need to glow highlighter can be really intense and depending on which one you use you can kind of get a harsh line so I like to go in with a, just a regular brush and kind of blend out that highlighter and melt it into my skin then I set my face with the morphe continuous setting mist and I use like damn near the whole bottle yep the whole thing and then I go with my max fit plus matte 
because this is just gonna keep me matte all day I swear by this stuff it's so good because this look is about a flawless base I'm just gonna go simple on the eyes I'm using the same bronzer I used on my face doing a little wing liner which is so hard to do on camera by the way I completely messed this up they're totally uneven but it's okay it still looks pretty decent and I'm gonna put lashes on anyway now I will be doing a lash tutorial I know a lot of you ladies don't know how to apply your false lashes this is just a quick hint of how to do it but I will be doing a more detailed video on this so stay on the lookout for that and these are still the lashes from my two dollar mink lashes video they are bomb when I tell you guys I'm never gonna pay $20 for lashes because I refuse throwing some mascara on my bottom lashes and then applying my Mac dazzle glass I forget what shade this is but I will have it listed down below I love this lip gloss and that is the finished look alrighty and that is my flawless foundation routine listen you guys if you follow each of these steps I swear you don't have to make it any more complicated than this you don't have to add any more steps than this you can achieve this really even flawless glowy face without spending a lot of money as you guys can see a lot of these products are not the high-end top designer you know expensive expensive makeup you can get this at your local drug stores or your CVS your Ulta's like you don't have to go all out and spend so much money I am batty on a budget for real so I will have the prices of everything listed down below and you guys will see just how affordable every single product I use in this video was so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation routine. I did get a couple of questions about like what foundation I wear, etc, etc. So I hope this cleared up those questions for you guys. Don't forget to thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it. And a little birdie told me that I reached a thousand subscribers. And a little birdie also told me that the winner has to be super interactive on my channel and leaving comments and you know liking stuff so like if you was the kind of person that maybe wanted to win something you know like in the future you might want to stay tuned and get active on this channel okay that's just what a little birdie told me you know I don't I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> so yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you have not already. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to click the bell and turn on your post notifications. I am posting every single day until Christmas. So you gotta keep up with me and know when I'm posting a video or you'll fall behind. Just like you are right now. I'm talking about you. You right there who didn't watch Rickmas 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. You have to go back and watch those videos, okay? I have the playlist laid out for you. Just go and watch those videos and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.